The Nike Book One finally here. Finally, get my hands on this shoe to talk about it. We've been talking about it on many occasions, different colorways. But we have the Mirage V2 in hand right now. Let's go over some of the specs and just the overall shoe. It is very simple and plain as I've seen in the pictures. Materials that they use on the uppers is not bad. I'm not gonna say that I don't like them. It does feel real smooth to the touch. You got the perforations around the ankle collar for the ventilation. You have like this quilted material uh, along with like some really nice soft nubuck. You can use these for casual wear or on the court for sure. The traction, Looks like a traditional hair and bone situation here. They do hold up well on outdoor courts, believe it or not, even with this translucent outsole. If you want a little bit more durability on your outsole, go with the XDR route. They do have some that have solid rubber outsoles, which will make it a little better for you. The specs of the shoe, you do have Cushlon, you do have Air Zoom. The heel says Air Zoom right there. So there is some comfortability with this shoe, of course. You do have breathability on this shoe as well with the perforations on the toe box and like I said before, around the collar. You do have this pull tab to help you get in and out the shoe with the uh, 96 on there. On the back of the shoe, you have the uh, chapter one. Then of course you got the Nike swoosh on the profile and medial side of the shoe. This is something you could wear with some khakis or some shorts during the spring and summertime. Definitely could wear them on the court. So this is one of those shoes they made uh, versatile. They wanted to make it good for on the court and off the court. And with somebody like Kyrie leaving, you're gonna need somebody to fill that type of void. And this Booker one's pretty solid, multi-purpose type of basketball shoe. I just wanna talk about them. I know you guys maybe have seen a lot of reviews on them. This right here is a size 12 that is available on my website, boscofitties.com. So if you're looking to grab yourself a pair and you missed out, go ahead and shop there. But uh, I'm, I'm proud to say the D-Book 1 is a pretty dope shoe. Very simple, but cool at the same time. Uh, I can't wait to see when we get more colorways based on the PEs he's been wearing. I'm sure we're gonna get some really nice colorways that's gonna hit. This is a little bit more basic for me. I do see people grabbing them and people going after them. You know, disappointed they weren't able to find them. So if you need help picking up sneakers, make sure you go ahead and uh, join my retail reserve uh, YouTube membership or join my membership via Discord, which is linked in the description box below. And we do got a raffle going on for the Jordan 4 Military Blue. New release date, which is April 29th, or raffle release date, because there is a new retail release date, which is May 5th. So on April 29th, live here on YouTube, I'm doing a raffle, a live raffle drawing for uh, the Jordan 4 Military Blue. So, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I've left information in a lot of videos and there are links in the description box to join that raffle. It's Nike Booker One, very dope to see Devin Booker's signature shoe, his first one finally released to the masses. There was like a delay with it. Then the first, the very first colorway was limited to only 500 pair, that orange colorway. So it is what it is. Do you see yourself picking up a pair in general? Like, do you like this colorway or are you waiting for something to come down the line? Or is this a shoe you're just not really a fan of at all? Give me your feedback, of course, in the comments below. If you want this pair right here, it's available right now on BoscoStudies.com. Some people feel like this Booker One reminds them of an Air Force One. Let me know if that's what you think, or do you see another silhouette that Nike has out that this shoe reminds you of? I have to be honest, the texture of the material, that short hair suede, you guys can see it actually like move. Very soft materials. I like what they did with this shoe. The more that I have it and touch it and get the feel of the upper, the more that I'm starting to like this shoe. The materials are clean. I can't wait to see what other colorways are down the line. Uh, 140 to 150 being a debut sneaker. Let me know if you guys feel like that's too much. Some other details that I noticed about the midsole and cushioning is that when it comes to the medial side of the shoe, 
the the midsole has some give but it's a lot it's pretty firm it's pretty pretty firm like if there's a cage underneath that we can't see however when it comes to the medial side of the shoe there's a lot more give in that same midsole so i think that's some pretty dope tech right there you get kind of like a cage that's you know this has to be some material because it definitely doesn't give as much as you would see on the medial side but the cushioning is still right there i like that i think that definitely gives it more of that hidden you know casual or hoop and look like on the outside more of a casual shoe but when you get to the you know the nitty gritty when you get to the other side you get more of that technology which i think adds some value uh, to the overall look of the shoe